awake now. Holy. <laughs> right? That's the thing. You, you, you hear, oh, shit, we're being recorded, and it's like, oh, let me wake up. Let me get to work. But yeah, man, you back up in this thing. It's another episode. And uh, we're recording this like awesome. a day, yeah, day after Christmas, so uh, I don't know. I guess I don't know if you want to uh, if you feel like maybe giving like a little recap on your Christmas, Trent. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was like I was saying to you, it was a lot better than I expected. So, you know, I enjoy it. was pretty good. It was different, not like being super hungover like it was last year. So, like, I managed. So, I actually got to enjoy like the food in that aspect. Um, yeah, I felt like I, it, I just felt like it was good. I felt like uh, me and my brother, like uh, me and my brother, always just really enjoy hanging out with our cousins because they're closer, not closer to my age. What am I saying? He's like, he's just one of my cousins just turning 19. So there you go in that respect. Like they're pretty young still, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, chill. yeah, yeah, pretty much. So we enjoy kicking it with them at times. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's interesting. And we never, and we hardly ever get to see them because they live different places basically we'll put it that way <laughs> I feel you. um and yeah yeah I, I, the other side of the family and mom and all that was good um it was good but can you list uh any of the like any of the foods or any of maybe like a one-two gift you might have got that you were like yo this is dope or maybe even just like if you had like um <laughs> like you and your brother or whatever if y'all had like a like dope ass experience or whatever like uh i don't know if you guys like you know, whether you were blazing or you stripping or whatever. I have a story to tell you off camera, though. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways. We, um, must, we must protect the innocent or whatever. Oh, in this case, yes. Um, but anyways, um, the, uh, yeah, it was some good food. Just turkey is always, like, it's traditional that way. Um, I had sex in a pan. That was really, really good. That was really tasty. I haven't had that. In, I haven't had that in ages. It's a dessert. Um, you'd have to look up the recipes on that one. Flash cut to a picture of it right now. Um, right, yeah. But, yeah. You said second. But, so what does it consist of though? Like what? It's, what's, it's like it, a, it's like a chocolate, but it has like, um, like a bait, like almost like a pie base to it. You know what I mean? But it's very like, um, I don't know. It, it's not really like a cake and it's not really like a pie. It's kind of like in the middle somewhere there, I guess. I, I don't know what okay. it's considered, okay. frankly, but it, I, it was good. I haven't had that in fuck at least two years so that was good um and the standout gift to me my gr- i got the uh, second and third lord of the rings books i'm reading the first one right now so that was really cool that's, um, dope. that's yeah, dope. that was that's pretty much it how about you <laughs> no man my shit was it was good in the sense of uh got to see like a good portion of the family like my like my immediate family like siblings parents nephews type shit but then got to see some extended family via like uh, FaceTime, WhatsApp, like different like uh, video calls or whatever. So that was cool too. Yeah, bro. Like it was, it was one of those ones where it's like after like the like unfortunate like earlier in the year like situations, but you get to like collect your thoughts and like chill with family and be connected and it's a positive time. No one's stressing and things of that nature. Like it, it felt nice, bro. Like me and my sisters, like, we exchanged gifts or whatever, but this year we kind of, um, we kind of, we kind of outdid ourselves or whatever, and it wasn't about, like, the gifts, like, um, how we were talking about last episode, how people, sometimes people just go into, like, the straight-up materialistic, like, it's more people bought shit that, like, bought things that people really needed, like, it wasn't, it was, it was a lot of helpful gifts. Like it wasn't like a lot of um, grandstanding gifts, like a whole bunch of jewelry or something like that. When instead you could buy like a gift card to, let's just say Canadian Tire or some type of place where you can go and buy something to help your, like get your, like my sister just bought a, bought a house, right? So something to get at your house or whatever, just practical gifts, man. And it, but they were dope, man. You could tell like everyone thought about it. My dad was there, he was chilling and shit. Like, He's in good spirits and good health. So like, I don't know. It was just it was just dope. It was dope. Like and like as far as a, a gift like a gift that maybe I felt was most special or whatever, bro. 
a physical gift the few books that i got like um like uh redesigning the mind uh 40 laws of power like these different books most people like they might be like yo i read it before whatever 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 but it's like it's always good to reread things right i agree uh, i'm never the type of person that just as soon as i obtain some information act like oh i have it down pat i'll never forget it it's always good to reread and tap in but yeah man it was dope got some dope books yeah man it was good and then just again seeing the family dope ass experience it felt like uh I was a younger kid again, because it was like, you're not stressing certain things specifically for that day, you know? You know it was, it was, it, there's no other way to put it than that. Like it was, it, was, it, it kind of, yeah, it brought like that nostalgia. Yeah, that definitely like the no stressing for the day was, I agree with you on that one, even with my whole issues with my family as I have, but it was still like, it was still like low stress. And it was just like, Oh, this is, this is kind of nice. <laughs> oh, and that's <laughs> nice. How, it's kind of nice for once, <clears throat> but that's but, how it's um, gotta be, man. That's how it's gotta be. Cause it's like, as we're like rough, like five or so days away from a new year, it's like, you think to yourself, okay, you, whether you're going into the new year, like thinking, Oh, I don't, I don't think that I want to change anything. Whether you, even care to like not believe but like have new year's resolutions because some people say things like i don't believe in that and even though it's not really about believing in something it's more just about like if you're gonna make changes hopefully you're doing them 365 you're not really waiting for the start of a new year but no one's perfect so using that as a reason like at the start of a new year it's like a fresh start using that as a reason i'm not gonna judge you for it it is what it is you know what i mean I'm in the middle ground with that one this year, honestly. Like, I've always been like that. I don't believe in resolutions. Always, you should, like, strive to work on yourself 365. But, like, I do see the value of a new year starting to be, like, you know, new year, new me, all that sort of thing, right? But, like, I've before, like, like, not even, like, consciously thinking about this. I've been writing down, like, more of, like, goals for not just, like, this channel and whatnot, whatever else, like, personal things I'm trying to like like get accomplished and stuff and like do some of that things like and at this point loose just waiting to see what happens with you know things go like uh restriction wise um loose plans to do things in the future with my girlfriend and stuff like that so it it's stuff like that like it's just like I don't want to say like resolutions or stuff like that, but just plans for the future, like more of like is more of how I'm looking at it, but like, oh, but it's, it's like more goals. so concrete like plan. Yeah. Goals yeah. for the future. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's more goals and like check checkpoints that you're trying to reach, but think about it from a standpoint of even in the sense of like, whether you have a partner, you don't have a partner, like, but if you do have a partner, it's like even getting to know them better. Right. Like we live in, a, we live in a society where it's like, we so like okay i was having a conversation with my uh sister yesterday and we were talking about how like it got, the conversation got deep but like kind of how it started was like people are afraid to kind of ask the hard questions like because they think that and not saying like you're trying to offend people or say something in a rude way but asking like the questions where it's like quote unquote getting to know someone and then like once they give you an answer to said question, seeing if their actions follow after, it's like, we're just talking about like, how, how, does one, how does one take life to the next level or maximize what you're trying to go through if you're kind of like afraid to truly like ask somebody what's going on or truly like let somebody know what's going on in your life. Not saying like, not saying that you'd wanna, again you're not it's never coming from a place of like a negative place but just i don't know it just makes you think even with the homies like again it doesn't have to be just strictly romantic relationships but it's like because you might know somebody for quote unquote 10 years but you don't really know them in the sense of you know that you haven't actually asked them certain deep ass questions questions that you might want to know if you trust this person to one day save your life or he's such a close homie that one day he might be the godfather to your children if something bad ever happened to you like 
we sometimes get into a, a situation where we were afraid to ask said questions or we don't we choose not to ask these questions because like we might not want to know the answer and it's like if you're with said friend or if you're with said girlfriend it's like or said wife or said whatever it's like why are we afraid to ask said questions like i don't know it's just something we were talking about and it just it kind of got me thinking like because you, like, you said like wanting to like whether it's by yourself or with a partner like travel the world or tackle goals or combine your goals it just got, it sparked my brain to think like i was just talking about something like that yesterday but what are your thoughts on that? it's definitely like there's it's when you said like depth with relationships and getting to know people there's a thing i have here it's a friendship pyramid it's more of an arabic thing but okay. it's like let it's just basically like all the way you go up just different levels of friendship and it's just even it like looking at that and like like using that as like a measuring post on your real life just seeing like oh where would so and so fit on this pyramid like how would i you know that sort of thing okay. it's some it's not not necessarily having to have that thing like like the actual picture in front of you sort of thing you know what i mean but like just that idea of there's more than there's there's levels to this shit when it comes to getting to know somebody and also you can keep knowing you don't stop knowing a person you don't keep getting to learn new things about a person unless you ask those questions like you said yeah. and unless you keep pushing like what we're talking about what we're gonna like do sort of things like it, like it's you know like cool. continuing like to have experiences and like and just shit like that but like if it's the ha it's that effort to do those things um and i think around here like we can we find like just because like we don't have much to do and except hang out with people like we tend to find out pretty quick like what you're all about like we'll hang out and talk for like you'll hang out with somebody and talk with them for like six seven hours a day you pretty much get to know somebody in a day at that point um I, as you know what i mean like you get to know yeah, yeah. basically what they're about people people are full of shit sometimes and you know this place is full of people who are full of shit so <laughs> so it's it's a matter of just like listening to like what people have to say and not just that but like like you said asking the right questions and pushing like like where are we going with this like how like what are we talking about here well this and that like well we thought of this like different perspectives and all that as well too it's like a con in my opinion it's like a conscious decision to to do that to ask said questions and the reason why i say questions like making that like the main focus and what we were talking about like yesterday or whatever is like because it's like you might have a like one you'll never know unless you ask ask like what you were trying to figure out but at the same time it's like sometimes people just say statements and it might not hold true which is why you have to watch their actions after they make a statement but i'd rather ask you so that to see if you're going to just respond or if you're going to say yo man let me get back to you on that i haven't really thought about that yet how you answer questions how you choose to like because it, then it kind of shows like if you can learn like what kind of like what kind of person someone is you're not worried about them bullshitting you and just kind of answering real quick mm -hmm. they're saying to you hold on man let me have a couple minutes to think about that like at least it allows you to be like okay this person's actually putting some thought into the question because we can all just say whatever when someone asks us something but it's like is it holding true am i seeing the actions follow but that's why i'm saying like it goes like it was it, we were talking about like romantically or like if you're in a relationship with somebody but again it could stem out to like whether it's a friend or whatever so I guess, as you mentioned, like the the kind of like a a chart where you would like categorize what friends go where. I don't know. It just makes me think like the the people who we bring into our lives. It's like we we. It's kind of like we can't really be afraid to get to know them because that's when you mess around and, and five, six, seven years later, you might still be with said person, but you're saying like. I don't even know this person and then you're saying wait a minute how do we get here if we didn't even like because you could be years or you know what i mean it, it doesn't even have to be like a few months of not knowing someone because you're choosing not to ask you know i don't know it's, it really has a lot like that keep your circle tight sort of thing and whatnot like it, it's i see the value in that at the same time i see the value in like 
oh, so-and-so coming in and we'll talk to them and see how they're doing. Let's bring them into the circle sort of thing. Like have a certain, like, I see, like, I see the value in both ways right now. Like I've always been like, keep like a short, like inner circle of like real, like friends. And those are the people like pool and like my brother and Greg and other people who I and, like you, who I've work, known work, and have seen, like you said, the action I've seen, like been there for me when it was like, I needed that. And like, you know, that sort of thing. Like, I know, like, if it, like when the shit came down, it wouldn't like, I know where the people would be. You know what I mean? Work, those work. are the people I keep, like, I don't, like, those are the people I give the most time for. And then from else there, it just like circles out like a ripple effect sort of thing, how I look at it. Like, okay. Word, word. It's just a, it's just to what degree I'm willing to let people in to my like not, not even just trust but just like time and energy as well too because if you want to know about me mother, this is the 48th podcast we've done like I, my life's pretty well out there as much as I've guarded a lot of it but I'll like it, but Trent <laughs> think about it like this although we put up so much out these are just bits and fragments, even though me or you might go on like a two or three minute little monologue for a second. We're still not saying like, yo, I believe in this, 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 this. And even if, even if we do definitively say things, bro, it's like you can mess around and get new information two, three weeks later. And then your view changes on said subject that you had like on a previous podcast. And we might not revisit those topics. So the world wouldn't really know that you had changed your view. Now, if you get a chance to, like, if somehow we revisit it on a genuine conversation or whatever, that's different. Like, it is what it is, but because then at least you can update the world, right? But mm -hmm. I'm just, it just, it just makes me think, like, you know, we, I, I don't know. It's like we, we, we sometimes give our lives, like, a good portion of our lives, but these people still don't really know us like that. But, it, but that's why, like, asking those type, types of questions, or I guess the right questions, is so important, in my opinion, you know? 100%. And not even just, like, yeah, asking the right question, and then the question to that begets is, what's the right question? You know what I mean? Like, and that's, and that's a completely a subjective thing, I think. Yeah. Like, if yeah. it's something, like, if... I don't know how else to put it, except it's if you in your own head have like, like it corresponds with personal beliefs as well too, but also like, yeah. like a tell, like whatever, like it's something like if I say this and this is the response I get from it, that's a red flag or a green flag sort of thing, whatever. Like, like you have your own like uh, system of judge, like not to say judgment as far as like, like you're trying to judge the person, but just within your own realm of morality or how you look at life. Okay. This is a red flag to me. Okay. This is a green flag to me, but it's kind of scary because some people are so afraid to even ask that question. Hey, what do you think about this, this, and this? Hey, if a man said this, this, and this to you, what would be your react? Like, you know what I mean? Like there's just, but you're just afraid to even ask those questions, which kind of got, which why we kind of sparked the conversation yesterday uh, or whatever, just about, like why people are afraid to do that. And then how do people expect to get to know people if they choose not to ask said questions or even choose to, cause like, yeah, I don't want to, every time I bring up such and such, she gets mad or he gets mad. And then it's like, okay, well there's an issue there. And, and we got to try to solve that because it can't be a matter of like, like we on fuck, like we on Harry Potter and shit. And you can't say, uh, what's that uh, evil wizard's name and Voldemort. shit. Or, sorry. Voldemort. Uh, uh, Voldemort, if you fuck around and say his name and then he comes and then, you know what I mean? Like uh, some real shit happens, some negative shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's just- Candyman. Basically, yeah. Or, or like you say that and then all of a sudden he appears. It's like, yeah, bro, I don't know. In my opinion, we just, the moment we, and it's again, it's not about asking them in a rude way or whatever, but it's like, I'm trying to get to know you like because I want to spend X amount of time with you. I want to spend, whether it's your life, like I want to spend my life with you or whatever. So I, we got to figure that shit out where the communication is so dope, even if it's uncomfortable, just knowing that like, yo, I'm not here to judge you, even if you say something I don't like, but it's just like, but I would like to be able to have that openness with, you, with that specific one person, right? Yeah, it's, it's real hard, man. Like 
open it up to people and like being like like i said having that openness with a person is really fucking difficult like be it like a person like a like a relation like a loving relationship or even just like a friendship with people because sometimes like people can change and sometimes not for the better like it's it sucks to even like think about that but like sometimes you could like tell the wrong information to the wrong person and they use that against you sort of thing especially in like a town like this or wherever where bad gas travels fast so like it's hard but it's it's a big reason why a lot of people try to keep their circle small around here and why like i don't see an issue with that at all frankly and I no, try no, not. No issue with that. No issue with uh, my. No, problem. never. My either. You know what I mean? Like never. I've never had that issue. I, I, I'm a fucking hermit for the most part. If I had my choice, but I've, now in like my last years or so, I've become more a, a lot more social and like, fuck. I go to the pub and like it's like the place where everyone knows your name, sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's just like, hey, it's like, oh, yeah, that's this is good. weird. This is weird. You know what I mean? Like I'm used to traveling incognito. Like people. Yeah. oh you were fucking here you know what i mean like yeah yeah i'm i'm used to that which is which and is it, not a terrible way to live either you know no like, uh, it's to each their own really like yeah, yeah. I, I don't know it's really however you, how you want to live your life live your life frankly but like it's very just it's just different and i don't know with a lot more people comes a lot more problems i guess some people could look at it like that but i don't know with, yeah, no, i try yeah. I try to see with a lot more people comes a lot more perspectives and a lot more stories, which is what I'm interested in. Which is cool because that's that's why it's like, of course, like I can see it on both sides as well, where it's like keeping so close knit that you don't have to give anybody information so that you don't have any future villains in your fucking storyline. Like, but at the same yeah, time, pretty much. <laughs> but, but at the same time, it's like holding yourself. So like holding yourself to such a standard and being so serious with yourself, like taking yourself so serious to the point where you're like, you don't talk to anybody and not saying that you have to spill the beans and spill your whole guts and your deepest, darkest secrets. But I'm saying enough to where a person understands slash knows you because, and you have proven on a consistent basis, like, okay, this person's and I'm not talking about on a, a wavelength of this person is not ever going to change. I mean, consistent as far as if you're consistently doing dope things and consistently evolving, that's amazing. People will know you for that, whatever, whatever. But like, if you're willing to actually have a conversation with somebody, that's different because it's like, you're not afraid to be vulnerable, so to speak. And most people are just too tough or, 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 Unfortunately, we have our own insecurities, so we're too afraid or whatever to share. But I'm just, I was just saying more from a standpoint of, because it's not everybody who I'm talking about, Trent. I'm not saying every single person you meet, you got to give every every uh, piece of information to. I was just saying more just your, in, like whether it's an intimate partner or your really close family members, why are we so afraid to ask certain like difficult questions that will allow us to grow more or communicate better or build a stronger bond moving forward you know that's that's the question just, i think to put even like even a slight bit of an answer to this like i think the reason why a lot of people don't um myself included is rocking the boat like they don't want to upset like how things are going like yeah it may be fucking awful and destroying <laughs> destroying your like who you how you feel about yourself or how like you know whatever else but like oh i don't want to upset what's happening right now it's a it's from a there was a book i read when i was in like high school like early high school and it was a quote from that book dare do i dare disturb the universe and to which i've always believed that question is rhetorical the answer is yes you always should like in some regard like i'm so you're glad gonna, you said that because like you're not, nothing's going to get done by stagnation nothing is going to get done we can keep things it's nothing wrong to have routine and keep things sort of the same but at the same time there's everything wrong with that at the same time like you need to have fresh ideas you need to have fresh things going in there and if people are just committed to keeping their same like shithead mentalities they've been on since 1950 fucking two see ya 
Like no, but it's crazy, Trent. It's so crazy that you say that. Like not crazy to use that word because it's not a negative thing. But I'm saying like it's 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 so strange that you say that because most people would answer with the with the reverse, saying like, "No, nah, I don't want to." Like when you say like 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 to disturb the universe, but it's like. I'd rather not rock the boat. I'd rather keep everything the same. But it's like, how do you, are you really growing with that person? Are you really moving forward with that person? Because you're kind of living in a fantasy if you choose, and it's not about specifically, like I know we're just using that phrase, rock the boat, but you asking said questions, like that shouldn't be a, an, an issue because, I mean, granted, if you're delivering with delivering it with love, it shouldn't be a, a an argument or a fight or whatever because this is something you genuinely want to know and if it, i'm saying if it's something that could help in a later time because at least you know how at least if this person's saying i don't plan on changing said mentality or said way i feel about this cool at least you know for a future time that person does not rock with whatever like whether it's like a wine or whether it's like uh, you know what I mean? Like roller coasters or whatever. It's like that person does not rock with that shit. At least you know, versus you just never ask. And then you bring them to a surprise birthday party at fucking Wonderland or something and they freak out and start going crazy because they have a phobia of roller coasters. You never even got, you never even asked, what are you afraid of? Like, do you have any phobias? Like, you just, you never asked set the, the important questions, in my opinion. That shit is, is wild to me, you know? And it's just even like basic questions like that. Like, fuck, I was watching Coach Carter today. So it's like, what's Word. your biggest fear, young man? So Word. that's all I can keep that's <laughs> just running through my head right now. As soon as you said that. Um, our, biggest, our biggest fear is not to be inadequate. It is to be. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so hard, bro. That shit was, yo, Coach Carter, that movie was so hard, bro. Man, I was, I was afraid I to watched- be. I watched that when it first came out, and then I yeah. was scrolling through Netflix at work today, and I was just like, all right, we're going to watch this, because I haven't seen it since it came out. I was just like, oh, this is so dope. But yeah, but yeah, but for real, though, like... Um, That's shit. real. Brought up but like, Coach Carter. <laughs> but it is. It's the simple questions like that, like, you know, what's your, what's your biggest fear? Or like, yeah. I used to have like a... I used to have it saved, because spoiler alert that's how i picked up a lot of girls was oh that sounds so awful i don't want to say that oh, it's, it's, not even, that it's not even bad because man. i didn't it's pick up a lot bad. of girls it's, it's how real. i cha- it's how i chatted up a lot of girls like especially that's online and stuff like that i throw a random yeah. weird like low like low bar softball question at them like like See, that's that's not even bad trent you 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 wanted to take that back like to the people listening <sighs> you asking certain questions or, or trying to find different methods to try to engage in learning about someone, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. You can, like, people can say, oh, she, he or she um, had a plan or had ulterior motives to try to get with me. No, I just wanted to get to know you and I didn't know certain questions to ask. So I Googled some, or so I asked uh, certain women in my life, like sisters or, or aunts, how to, what questions I should ask. It's just you're trying to learn how to court better or how to like engage better. So y'all people listening, y'all ain't gonna make my boy Trent feel bad about that shit. It no, is I feel the only part I feel bad about is to pick up a lot of women part because that's bullshit. <laughs> no, but it's like fuck, never mind that. If you got to engage Trent with multiple women, not on a negative way, but just you just and then eventually, unfortunately, the conversation or whatever just fizzled out. That is what it is. People out here, Trent are so afraid to even admit certain things like that. Like, yeah, I had a little bit of assistance in, in my game or in my way how I engage women or whatever, or even like just how you um, act like in a job interview, for example. You getting t- different pointers or tips to see if you can get into a dope ass job, AKA get with a dope ass woman. How is that supposed to be a negative thing, especially if it's something you feel is necessary in your life, a dope ass woman is necessary in your life? Why would you not try to find methods to obtain obtain that i don't know man people just maybe i look at life weird because if remember like you know me i have weird methods of doing certain things but if they make sense why would i not do the the method i don't care if like i know like it's not about new year's resolutions or nothing like that because maybe we will probably have one more episode right around that time but it's just about it's just in my opinion about saying okay Something I got to leave behind is 
caring about what motherfuckers think. Bro, you know what? Give me 27 seconds. I'm going to grab a hat that my sister made me because she's dope as fuck at what she does. And the designs are a little, like, it might look a little wild on this camera, but give me 37 seconds. Yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lou. Oh, man. Bro, look at this shit, bro. That's amazing. See this? You see the little, you see the little, uh, little moose, little moose, uh, I'll put it up a little That's closer. awesome. See that? Oh, dude, that's dope. Y'all don't even know, understand, like, but I say all that, one of my gifts or whatever, I say all that to say, though, people might look at me like I'm crazy, Trent, in the sense of, because I'm grown, but the designs are some dope-ass Canadian moose just tripping and shit. But people would be like, oh, this guy, he's wearing a moose. But but then people wear Canada goose and there's a little goose on the side or or they'll wear like whatever like famous person's clothing that has a little weird designs on it or looks like it's supposed to be worn by the other gender or whatever the case is. I'm saying it from a standpoint of you got to not care what people think about you. You got to just live and do what you want to be happy and get to, and if it's a matter of learning to be dope as fuck with somebody and getting to know them and y'all both prosper and you might be four foot three and she's six foot and so she's way taller than you but y'all make it work and y'all love each other bro do that shit like we got to stop caring about what people think but at the same time when it comes to the people we do care about and love we got to get to know them motherfuckers. That's all I'm trying to say this episode. And I hope these motherfuckers, you know, these people out here listening, get it, you know? I'll leave, him with, I'll leave you with one last piece of wisdom that, yeah, bro, and, that the guy who actually taught me my for my gun license was put this out there, like at the start of the whole thing. He said, Confucius said, he who asks a question is a fool for five minutes. He who never asks the question is a fool for all time. And we can leave on that. Bro, that's a, a gem he's dropping jewels like his chain broke like my boy Sahai says I drop jewels like my chain broke and I spit canaries trench this out here dropping gems on you bitches yo like cause if you ain't gonna We're ask the you'll never know though straight up you'll just never know if you never ask the questions like my boy Trent just said yo you already know what it is I'm Grim I'm Trent <laughs> and we gonna rock this motherfucker out you know what I mean it's another episode of Ultra Fly Talk thanks for rocking with us <laughs> But boy, Trent said, I'm flexing on, uh, with 